one question is whether we fall out of compliance or not, what does it do to our big projects? What does it do to the I-35 project? As a vote looms for the I-35 expansion project, concerns are growing about meeting its emission standards. Do you have to do other things? Should you do other things? Walker Williamson with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality attended Monday's Transportation Policy Board meeting with all the answers. We would set uh, emissions levels in that SIP and you would have to show that the emissions that result from your transportation plan don't uh, exceed that emission level. Next month, the state of Texas will have to submit a national ambient air quality standard to the Environmental Protection Agency to meet clean air requirements. If the state fails to meet those qualifications, it'll have a 120 day window to match the EPA standards which could impact federal funding. So you would be restricted in, in terms of what you could do up to meeting that conformity level for emissions. Air quality and emissions levels were one of the final topics discussed at Monday's meeting. It was the center of discussion for those opposing the I-35 expansion project. There are unfortunately a minority of elected officials who seem to be saying it's okay for me and my neighbors and their children and their elderly parents to breathe in the toxic emissions. Last fall, the city of Austin asked the State Department of Transportation to hold off on funds for the expansion project due to greenhouse emissions. That's still a concern today for pediatrician Natalie Watson. When you breathe in pollution, it triggers injury and inflammation at a cellular level. As for what's next, the TIP amendment is expected to be voted on at next month's Transportation Policy Board meeting. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.